Hello everybody and welcome to this very, very, very special video because today I'm going to show you um, a trading update that I have done on Friday evening just as we were dropping in price and going walking the community and every all the students that are studying within our community walking through exactly what was happening uh, during the time, uh, what was happening with the price action and um, uh, today I want to share this video with the public uh, just to because I feel really good and you know it's it's the time of the year where people are kind to each other and it's all about giving and sharing so I thought you know what why not let everybody in a little bit on what we actually really do within the community and uh, how we are able to not pay any attention to the noise around because obviously at Friday we were trading at around $56,000 and you know the next day you hear all kinds of reasons uh, of why Bitcoin has dropped um, maybe the inflation of the dollar was the cause or maybe the late payment of the Evergrande situation dropped the cause of Bitcoin. But really, how does that help you make an informed decision? So I'm going to show you what really happened, what truly happened in the charts and how you could have seen a song and anticipated on how such a move could occur if be if you put this in the right context. So um, this is a very, very special video. It gives you really a unique insight in, in what this community really is all about. And um, hopefully you will notice the quality of the analysis that, that we provide there. And um, hopefully that inspires and motivates you to uh, learn that also to do yourself because, you know, that is the focus of what we do. So before we drop into the video, I want to say just hit that like bell notification button to help us in the YouTube algorithm to spread the knowledge even further. Uh, give us a follow on social media and also let us know if you like the content that we're making in this way. And you know, if you, if you like to continue uh, doing this, if you like us to continue doing this, then just let us know. Let's, let's interact here. And, um, I'm forever grateful for um, for uh, keeping up with us, and um, I would say as a reward, um, here you go, little in-depth video as to what really happened on Bitcoin. And uh, without further ado, enjoy this. Hello everybody, uh, just a really, really, really quick update because I saw a lot of confusion in the chat and uh, I really liked also the, the little update that George this, uh, did this morning. So I thought, you know, why not give one myself as well? So I'm going to keep it really, really short and uh, walk really quickly through what has just transpired. Um, so just to give you a little bit for educational purposes to, you know, to get a little bit inside my head and, and the way that I was going about this. So starting off with the, the first thing is this channel that I just posted multiple times today in, in the in the chat. Uh, we have been holding up this channel really, 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 really well. It's a downward sloping channel with very well defined top, very well defined uh, bottoms as well and uh, we have been ranging uh, grinding around the top of the channel for a few days now a uh, few things to notice uh, what what i find this this range here is very is a, is a big 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 range because what has transpired so let me switch quickly to uh, zoom in a little bit on what has happened in this range this range uh, happened something which i haven't seen for a very long time uh, a lot, and uh, I mean a lot of volume has been building up in this uh, in this particular range. What you see here are shorts and long specified. Numbers are not super accurate, but they do give an indication of the amount of volume that has been basically building up within this range. So naturally, when you have a have such a range where loads of volume is building up, the break of that range usually has a significant effect. So as you can see within this range, the, the open interest just really went went really crazy. You had you had hundreds of millions of longs opening within this channels, hundreds of millions of shorts opening, uh, also building up loads and loads and loads of volume. Um, 
for example, on this rise, we had, you know, basically in total nearly hundred millions of longs opening in this rise, for example. Then when we were dropping again, we also had like, let's say 50 million shorts opening. Uh, and on every drop, like really in, in a very tight and narrow range, a lot of open interest building up once again here in this later range. 39 million longs, 23 million longs, 16 million longs, 25 million shorts, 70 million uh, shorts, uh, and, and on and on and on and on and on. Uh, out of nowhere, we had a major drop in open interest as well, after which that really, really quickly built up again, uh, forming here really local range at the time. So I would class that as this. Uh, and the reason why we were consolidating here the way that we did is, in my opinion, because we were actually trading at a really significant level. So quickly just showing you the, vo the local range volume where we have the point of control over here. So mapping that out in levels that would have given you the following levels uh, now has shifted a little bit, obviously, because we've moved out of the range. But you can see that these local levels have held up really, really, really well. And then we basically swing failure pattern in the local point of control, which is not only the local point of control, but also the point of control of the entire year. So if, if I would pull a fixed range, very simple from the beginning of the year. Um, yeah, anyway, it's a little bit too far back because I just simply have the levels ready. So if I would put them on, then we have the point of control of the higher term time frame range over here which added up to extra extra confluence then we have moved out of the range so naturally because of all the volume that is at stake here the drop is quite significant where did we drop to also in my opinion a fairly important level in my opinion uh, at the moment it's it's a little bit unclear what's going to happen next but we do have uh, some technical reasons as to why we've dropped to here because not only was it the bottom of the channel it also had confluence with the two to four trend line based off of elliott waves so that means basically from the drop to 29k connecting this to the 39k low uh, we have just hit that level as well so it does make sense to do, that we have at least a little bit of a bounce here um, and where did we bounce to uh, from here on out so there's two levels over here we have the value area low of this previous range over here as you can see depending on how you pull it we have that line here exactly so that is basically what we have back tested and we also have this daily level that we have lost and pretty much back tested right now so what do i expect on from here uh, on the higher term time frame it is a little bit unclear all that i know is that we did hit uh, some sort of a big level but for continuation to the upside i do really need to see some levels being reclaimed now because you know we have dropped significantly and we have lost some some important key levels uh, in my opinion um one reason why i think we might revisit at least this section of the lows is because if you would go on the tpo chart you have basically the following uh, thing occurring we have a very wide row of single prints so that i would class this momentarily at least at the moment i would class this as an inefficiency so the probabilities are that we're going to revisit these lows are we going to trade lower than that that remains yet to be seen as currently we are still working on, on, on the bounce um, but the probabilities are that uh, we might visit these single prints uh, whether that is now or in an hour or tomorrow, I don't know, but I do class the probability as uh, relatively high. So that would be my next, uh, how, how would you say that moment of observation where I can make simply an informed decision because then you have defined newly freshly defined uh, resistance levels with local price action corresponding really nicely also with old levels that we've just lost and essentially, you know, building up fresh market structure. So uh, for me, it's now more of a game of, of, of waiting. And I would use this time to simply analyze what has transpired. If you've maybe lost money or if you've made a lot of money, um, I would say now is a good time to take profit. If you've been caught off guard, then I would say study this video uh, in depth and journal for yourself. Uh, analyze the situation, what has happened uh, so that you can 
turn this maybe right now a negative moment into a learning opportunity and that will only make you a better trader and then hopefully the next time that something like this happened you will understand better what happened and uh, you know you can make a better informed decision so there was a really quick update um, I hope that eases everybody a little bit and uh, with that I wish you all a really really happy weekend and uh, catch you all next week for some more trades cheers everybody bye so that was an in-depth explanation of what happened over there at the time and uh, basically to top it even up a notch this is not something that for me came as a surprise at all because uh, in the group on the 18th of November I started constructing this following channel literally from that first drop and that first bounce that we had over here then we had another decline which allowed me to construct the trend line to the downside and imagine a trend line a bottom trend line to the downside as well constructing a channel and as a matter of fact literally every single pivot i have been able to trade this successfully um you know within this within this range within this downward sloping range so purely based off of technical analysis uh, not gambling not following the news literally whatsoever just purely keep it to where it really comes from which is the the part of where information is being generated on the chart so this is why i always say give me a chart and i'll tell you the news because i have been trading this very 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 successfully and therefore having that first bounce on the bottom of the channel and that big upward sloping trend line also did not came as a very big surprise for me and as a matter of fact uh, the reason why i said uh, that is going to be my next moment of observation after after i said we we might come down here to the to to revisit these lows because in the back of my mind i was aware of the overarching market structure which showed me that potential downside is more probable so this is one of the reasons why i specifically said this is not where I'm going to, let's say, look for uh, a trade to the long side, for example, um, but observe what's going to happen over there. And that is all the difference with being able to read the context correctly and uh, holding fire on a specific, uh, on a specific uh, uh, move to the downside or to the upside, for example and uh, halting my trading activity and simply observe and monitor what happens and from there on out as it happens in the moment make the next decision because what actually really happened we broke the trend line and in the end we fell all the way to forty-one thousand dollars. so that all comes off of my correct reading of this previous section expecting or not necessarily expecting that's the wrong choice of words i did not expect this drop to happen honestly that fast and that deep um i Although it did not come as a surprise because I was able to read the charts correctly and I was able to build that context uh, up from there. So, you know, just with this video, uh, I wanted to show you how uh, technical analysis, in my opinion, uh, really works. Of course, uh, probably this goes uh, much more in depth than the than what you see averagely here on, on, on YouTube. But nonetheless, still wanted to give you a little bit of an insight on uh, the way that I approach these charts and um, uh, what we really do here in the community as mentioned before so really hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, uh, you know keep in mind that this video is obviously only for educational purposes and uh, hence the reason why this is not really uh, a video where we are looking into the charts uh, of what is going to happen next but rather uh, study what has happened uh, in the past to better understand the future so Hope you've enjoyed, uh, wish everybody a really great day and week ahead and catch you all in the very next video. Cheers everybody, bye.